5 Real Life Criminals That Are Considered Heroes By The Public Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beyond Crazy. 5. Billy Miner Born Ezra Allen Miner sometime in 1847 in Kentucky, this bandit earned himself the nickname The Gentleman Robber for his unusual politeness while robbing stagecoaches. It is said that he was the originator of the phrase hands up. However, he was caught and jailed on multiple occasions. In 1881, he was sentenced to 25 years in a California state prison, he served 21 and was released in 1902. Miner then began robbing trains as stagecoaches were now all but extinct. The legend of Billy Miner reports him commanding his men never to kill anyone during a robbery, even if they had to defend themselves. It is even said that at one point, he used his ill-gotten gains to pay off a widow's mortgage and then stole the money back from the cold, unfeeling bank. He spent 18 months under the assumed name George Edwards in the Canadian city of Kamloops. 4. Frank a Bagnail As the inspiration for the film Catch Me If You Can, a bagnail was a world-famous con man by the age of 21. He started using fraudulent checks at 16 years old, and by the time he was 21, he had written over $2 million worth. He was caught in 1971. He served just two of his 12-year sentence and was released early in exchange for helping the FBI catch other con men. However, he continued as a con artist and posed as an airline pilot while running scams on the side for money. He stole, lied, and cheated almost as easily as most people breathe. It was in his nature to do so, but the authorities were on to him, and he was getting caught more often than not. Finally, a bagnail decided to turn over a new leaf and work with the FBI for more than 30 years as one of the world's foremost experts on document fraud, check swindling, forgery, and embezzlement. Today he owns and operates a fraud consulting company that has served more than 14,000 banks and companies. He has achieved the status of a hero among countless Americans. 3. Georgia Durante Georgia Durante has lived one of the most interesting lives in modern American history. A model at the age of 12, she was a Kodak girl by the age of 17. By the age of 20, she had experienced and endured more than most people ever will. She had survived rape, involvement in a mob war, and an abusive marriage. Her second marriage landed her as a getaway driver for the mob. After the birth of her daughter, she fled from New York to Los Angeles, where she became one of the most successful commercial stunt drivers in the country. Since then, she has created her own stunt company, which has worked on over 100 movies. She has written an autobiography, The Company She Keeps, and she gives speeches around the country on her experience with domestic violence. Durante is considered a hero to many women that have gained strength from their shared experiences of abuse. 2. Kwesi Mfume Kwesi Mfume has served as president and CEO of the NAACP, a member of the Baltimore City Council, and currently as a member of the U.S. House of Representatives. While Mfume was never a career criminal like the rest of the members of our prestigious list, he did have some run-ins with the law in his formative years. It is speculated that Mfume became involved with Baltimore-based gangs after the death of his mother. In 1996, he published an autobiography entitled No Free Ride. In it, he confesses that he had been locked up on multiple occasions for suspicion of theft. Today, Kwesi Mfume is a hero to many young underprivileged children in Baltimore. 1. Junior Johnson Born in 1931, Robert Glenn Johnson Jr. was the son of a bootlegger and grew up in the family business. Johnson, a legend in the NASCAR community, served as a direct link between the sport's origins and the modern-day phenomena of stock car racing. Johnson spent nearly a third of his life behind bars due to his criminal activities. While serving time in 1986, he was pardoned by President Reagan. Johnson was an innovator in the car, however, and devised a successful method of drafting that helped him win the Daytona 500 in 1960. In 1966, he retired from driving with 50 grand national wins, making him the winningest driver to never win a championship. Outside of NASCAR, Johnson was best known as the subject of Tom Wolfe's landmark 1965 essay The Last American Hero is Junior Johnson. Yes. Johnson died in 2019 at the age of 88, 
he is considered a hero by thousands of NASCAR fans. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them.